Coccidiosis is one of the diseases that can have several attacking methods, offensive methods. So as a poultry farmer, you have to equip yourself with different methods of this, different defensive method. So whenever this disease comes around, you'll be able to defend your bed against this dangerous disease. I'm going to share my story with you, how I was able to circumvent for that damage to my chicken's last and cycle and how the vet helps me search on usage of cosidia anti cosidia drugs you don't just give drugs like that so we are going to learn all this thing today so i advise you to watch to the end of this video because you are going to gain a lot so stay tuned i'll be right back so welcome, welcome back, back. As, as i said earlier i'm going to share with you my sprints how i was able to prevent further death caused by cosidiosis and how you are going to use or better way to use anti drugs for better results. As we all know, Cosidiosis is a, is a protozoan um, parasite, Cosidia, uh, that has some several species, uh, about nine of them. The popular one is uh, Aimera, Asavolena, Ronetti, uh, Tenera, Maxima, and so on. There are so many of them, but these are the common ones. How do your chicken actually get infested by this uh, disease? Now, the disease is ubiquitous, that is can be found everywhere. It's not something that you can actually wipe out totally. So to be sincere, that's why they put anti cosidio uh, starts in chicken feeds. Okay? We also give therapeutic prevention at times goes on in the water. So it is everywhere, but not all birds are affected by this disease. Now, when the bird gets infested, or when the bird picks the egg of this cosidia, from the litter, is, which is known as oocysts. Oocysts have the uninfectious one and infectious one. Okay? Now, the uninfectious one have the goats, which help it to stay dormant. So, this egg can stay dormant in your poultry farm. Even though you clear the whole place, they can stick on the particular crannies or nook your poultry farm and stay there for a while until the condition is favorable for them to tolerate or hatch. So when they have, they become infectious. And when they become infectious, there are some certain conditions that, that enable them to hatch, such as high temperature, heat, moisture, and oxygen. That's why it is very important to talk about the ventilation in your poultry pain, talk about uh, dryness in litter. So if you can do this, you will be able to reduce the incidence of coccidiosis in your poultry farm. Now, after picking up, after being, after exploration, the bed picks this fetious osis into the body and it affects the intestine. That is where they breed. They use the intestine as the breeding ground. And this uh, mirror have different species. Some are fed upper, mid upper, midpoint of the intestine, lower and second. So when they do this, they use the surface of the intestine, the epithelial cell, that help in nutrient absorption. You see, nutrient absorption, when it is hampered, you know, the bed starts losing weight and getting weak, and you know what it means. So when they use this, the intestine surfaces or environment to breed, to recycle, to mate, yeah? now they form several eggs again, which they pass out through their phases. And when you do that, another bed will pick it up. Just like that, it goes on and on. As I said earlier, not all beds uh, can be infested with this disease. But this disease is widespread, that's why you have to treat it regularly. And uh, the disease can prevent it. You can prevent it and manage as well. You can prevent it and manage. The first way, which is uh, by management, uh, proper house boundary of your poultry farm. Some people use net wire or wire, wire floor. Here yeah, they elevate the floor of the chicken, the pen, using the net so that they will not have contact with their food. That in some level will reduce the infection, the case of what constitutes it. It is not wipe it totally, but it is also good. It's one of the way you can actually prevent constitutes. Now, apart from house boundary, past security and all that, keeping your environment dry, ventilation, the two major way which this disease can be controlled is by using anti cosidia drugs or vaccination. Why we use anti cosidia drug is because the disease is ubiquitous. 
it, it, it causes damage before the science comes out. So whenever I see signs of coccidiosis in your farm, it has already caused some damages already. That's why you have to use drugs periodically. And you cannot use drugs to prevent this disease in total. When it comes to vaccine, vaccine is not popular. I've not used vaccine, anti-coccidial vaccine. I've not used coccidial vaccine against coccidiosis, um, but it's not that popular. With time, chicken beets immunity against this disease. Okay, that is what I've learned, that's what I had. And then it takes about four weeks of cycle for a chicken to build, four cycle for a chicken to build proper immunity. So the cycle of this uh, um, coccidiosis, the coccidia, have to go about four times within the chickens for it to build proper immunity. All that chickens build immunity. All you have problems with is between is where we have younger birds, three, four, six feet, and brother four within this range. Brother that big, but that young birds until to the age of birds, younger birds like layers or this green or local birds. Brothers are very young, and within that four to eight weeks, normally train our brother. That's when it attacks these brother chickens. With time, chicken beats immunity against this disease. Drugs okay. when come to vaccine, vaccine is not popular. I've not used vaccine, anti-coccidial vaccine. I've not used coccidial vaccine against coccidiosis. But it's not popular in like Newcastle vaccine. I don't know if you have used a um, uh, vaccine against coccidiosis. Please uh, let us know in the comment box. And with time, chicken beats immunity against this disease. All that chicken is build immunity. All you have problems with is between is where we have younger birds. They fall with six feet and brother fall within this range. Brother that big, but that young birds until to the age of birds. Brother birds like layers or miss green or local birds. Brothers are very young and within that four to eight weeks normally train our brother. That is when it attacks these brother chickens. So that's why it is necessary you must use anti procedure drugs periodically to raise your brother chicken. Okay? Now one other thing I want to talk about is using antibiotics. Using antibiotics is because of some um, opportunistic diseases like Procidium preferentials that normally cause necrotic uh, enteritis in the intestine. Okay, so this opportunistic disease can also come in and harm your chickens. That's why it's also necessary to use some antibiotics, use some vitamin like vitamin K. And A that encourages recovery. So if you pine anti procedure drugs, you look for this anti procedure drugs that also have some K vitamin A vitamin in them. Okay, that makes that is bloody pool. The veins will be bloody at times. Watery, watery pool, diarrhea. The leg of the bed will be dry. You can even see the vein, the blood in the vein through the legs. The blood will not bright like the oxygenated blood. You know, the blood in the leg on the vein will not be that bright. Then the corn will be more pale as well. The chicken will be ruffled body, cooking in like this. They would like to stay in one corner once you come. They will just run around and move, even though they eat. They have different level of immunity, different level of infection. This disease. So you might not even know that the healthy bed, looking healthy, is having it. Once you notice the sign in particular bed, it has already affected other beds, most of the beds here, not all. That's why you have to give drugs yeah, periodically. Now, when it comes to giving of uh, drugs now, the popular one I know of is Aprolion. Aprolion, <coughs> Aprolion is a vitamin B antagonist. It affects the synthesis of vitamin B in that protozoa parasites. So what Aprolion does is that it goes there and terminate or inhibit that pathway that produces uh, vitamin B1. Okay, tiny. Then uh, if you are using vitamin with antiprocedural drugs, and that vitamin contains vitamin B1. So what are you fighting? Eh? You kill two, you involve three. So that is very risky. So that's why it is proper to consult your veterinarian to know the proper way to use this antiprocedural drugs. Okay, how, what did I explain during my time? I was using Aprolion over, over the time, over some years, three years, I was using my anti procedural drugs, Aprolion. Probably the, the, the chickens or the, the protozoa 
have developed resistance to that particular drugs. So they notice that, oh, this drug is harm harming us all the time. Okay, we're going to change it for you now. We will just find a way to circumvent that pathway so that whenever the drug comes, you will not be able to harm the parasite again. That is what I suspected. So how to take the dead, one of the dead birds for post multi to test analysis and the, the veterinarian prescribed the drug for me. A procol. This procol is having some sulfur element in the sulfur drug, it's a sulfur drug. So I believe that changing of antiprocedural drugs will help treat your birds better, will help prevent antiprocedural infection in your farm. There, there are two ways you can rotate the usage of antiprocedural drug. The first one I just explained, which is rotational program. This first batch of chicken, I use antiprocedural A. The second batch, I use antiprocedural B. The third batch, I use antiprocedural C. Then, another one is called Shell Shortu Program. In Shortu Program, you use a particular antiprocedural drug from the one, the starter stage. The starter stage, you just use one particular antiprocedural drug. Then, the grower stage, you use another antiprocedural drug. By that way, the protozoa, the parasite will not be able to guess which one to beat to build immunity against or resistance against, so they will be confused. And that way, you'll be able to minimize the incidence of a, 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 a procedures in your farm. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it to other farmers with that we need this kind of information. So, until next time, thanks.